In Michigan, for the past 10 years, we've been in decline. And of course, with the national recession and the housing and real estate and financial crisis, Michigan has been even more hurt relatively relative to other countries and, and really internationally. And, and so we have these institutions that were set up in terms of local government operation, um, these structures in place that may have made sense many years ago, and, um, and yet we're faced with increasingly tight budgets. Um, how do we create an environment that promotes a more sustainable economy, more agile economy, one that is consistent with some of our sustainability goals, but at the same time provides um, core public services to the people in those communities. And how do all these pieces fit together in this larger context? And it, it's sort of strange because when we think about sharing services, uh, public services, and having communities work together, in some ways we're talking about regionalism, about um, maybe having fewer local governments. Um, but in the broader perspective internationally, um, we know that um, countries that have been very centralized historically tend not to do very well and they've worked very hard at creating local systems so that at the local level decisions can be made that are most appropriate in that context of that local environment. So decentralization has been uh, a valued thing and arguably has improved the quality of life all around the world. So the question is, is you know, we have Michigan and the United States, which is very decentralized. We have a lot of local autonomy relative to many other places in the world. Um, what's the right size? At what level should we consolidate? How do we change the systems that meet our changing needs? Davison community is composed of the city of Davison and the township of Davison. And if you go there, um, it, it doesn't look like there's any difference. You go down Main Street and at one, at one point you're in the city, and another point you're in the township. It's very commercial. You can see that these communities, real, it's really one community, and yet they have very different tax structures, the kinds of services they provide, um, and, um, and in some ways the city is hemmed in by the township. And they have collaborated for many years in providing services jointly, but as um, the economy is taking its downturn. They're looking at, boy, how do we, how do we create an environment that attracts um, better jobs for the people who live here? How do we provide core public services to make this uh, a, a high quality of life place to live? And does it make sense for us to um, be competing with one another? Um, and how, and, and in what sense can we collaborate on a larger scale? And these are questions that are being asked all over the state and really all over the country. How, how you know, does our system of local governments uh, operate effectively in this environment? And do we need to do anything differently? And it, uh, in many ways, this challenge for Davison is similar to challenges all over Michigan and how we're going to deal with providing core public services in a way that meets the needs, improves quality of life, and, and, and improves sustainability. Well, I, the other piece that I, 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 I was thinking about, I didn't say, is that this issue of institutional change is by nature a wicked problem. Um, there's a problem that has occurred. It's not clear the source of the challenge. There are lots of different pieces that fit into it. There's uncertainty about outcomes if you make a change whether or not that will translate into improved public services and a better local economy is, it's, it's a question and until you do it, you know. And so now you have differing people with differing perspectives, differing values, you have different people who have this, their, you know, different interests. If you do consolidate, um, there are gonna be fewer leaders necessarily, right? Um, and so somebody is potentially going to lose. So how do you make um, these challenging decisions with these different interests at stake? How do you say we're going to cut back spending when you have unions with uh, a, a, a incredible amount of bargaining power? All of these pieces fit together and it's a very complex, um, difficult thing on which we all have a, a different perspective. So on the outside it seems easy to make a small change for a community 
Um, in practice, it's very challenging <laughs> to make any kind of change at all. And, um, and furthermore, the Davison challenge is, is very much like challenges that communities all over the state of Michigan and really all over the country are, 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 are working through.